Hello everybody, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com. Today is March 3rd, 2023. It's currently 10.39 a.m. Chicago time. All right, what I wanted to do was to touch bases on the S&P 500. In this case, I've, I've got a chart of the ES Mini. And uh, you'll see some text sprung about, uh, as you can see, uh, here and here and so forth peak my memory but we're going to be uh we're going to be coming up to something very interesting here i believe next week and i wanted to make this recording here this video so that uh at the very least it is posted before uh the events happen for those of you who have subscribed and set the notification bell uh you will clearly be aware of these things coming up and happening and that's what i i want to do to reward you for subscribing to my channel anyway so let's get down to the s p 500 market when when this stock market has just been going up and up and up but all the indications are like this thing should not be up there the stock market is not healthy just like the economy is not healthy or let's just get down to what the technicals are saying here and specifically market turning points and so forth. So far, uh, every turn that has occurred, I was expecting it. There were a couple of turns, for example, this 3-2 right here, that bottom that was put in yesterday. That surprised me. Not so much that uh, it put in a bottom because on my membership forum, I did mention that it would put in the, the low and then you know make a higher high. I was expecting a higher high, and it did make a higher high because it's an outside bar. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, so let me just expand this chart out a bit here. But if you'll notice, the high of yesterday did in fact exceed the high of March 1st. So that part did in fact happen. I knew this was going to be a pivot day. Well, one of the things I have here is a little seasonal tool. And if you'll notice right there, you see where it says new HL? It has this blue 77. So I had mentioned to uh, the membership that uh, I, I felt it was likely that seasonally the 3-2 would make a higher high. Although I thought the overall day would end up you know negative but um, and, and look at the day before I I figured it would have been a positive day but it was inverted as well so there was these inversions that occurred that you know I'm like expecting one thing and did another but as far as you know making the higher highs and turns and so forth uh, we certainly see that it was indicated here and then I want to draw your attention over to 3.8 here because this is going to be important. You'll see this transition from uh, 3.7, 3.8. You see this change here. So anyway, uh, that is just a tool that I use on the side. It's in the provisions charting program. Members have access to that. The thing is that we got this confirmed swing bottom for March 2nd. That was yesterday. This is today's move. I just updated it. And you'll be able to see it here. All right, here we go. Let's just do. All right, so this is this is actually updating in real time. So you can see there's the three two, right there, and um, then you can see that it is uh, moving higher. Anyway, let me get this off. All right, so we have this turn here that happened on three two, and if you'll notice up here, I had this indication three two D. All right, 3-2-D. It's 3-2, uh, so 3-2 did in fact make a turn. And then you'll start to notice that I have up here March 8 important, which that's why I said, you know, keep a note of, keep a note of this because um, this is not where I got it from, and yet it seems to be in agreement. All right, so... And, and down here, 3.8 has this little asterisk thing, and I will show you how I 
why do I keep bringing that up? All right. So market, uh, let's see. This is not the right app. Let me get the right app here. Uh, I think this is it right here. And load data. And we want the uh, mini, 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 mini. All right. So I don't want to show the whole thing because that's privy to the membership. But let me bring up right there okay so you can see that this application here 38 with the asterisk don't bother with 313 here while it may or may not turn out to be anything this application is only looking to make us aware of the ones with the asterisk so we have 38 is being highlighted here for the mini as being an important uh, turn date. We call these dollar sign F dates in the membership when those dates are in agreement with F dates. So that particular application does not produce F dates. It highlights important future dates in a market. But if it matches an F date, then we put the uh, dollar sign next to the F date in the report so people know that that's a special F date and that it had uh, corroboration from this particular application. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, for those watching and saying, man, this guy rambles on, sorry about that. Uh, just want, you know, just, I don't have the script. Okay, I'm just coming off the top of my head here. So anyway, March 8th, you're going to get that anyway. You're going to get that after listening to all this rambling. You now know right on your calendar, March 8th. March 8th is an important time period. Could it happen March 9th? Yes, it could happen March 9th. Could it happen March 7th? Yeah, possibly. Uh, I don't think it will, but possibly. So, you know, just keep that in mind. I, you know, I tend to give, you know, one day leeway. You know, one day, I mean, it's just not asking for too much, right? Just one day. What I would be looking for here on the daily, on the daily, we are definitely on the bottom end of things, which means we do have uh, upside available, okay? There's plenty of room to the upside here. You can see in this overbought, oversold indicator, there is evidence that we could see prices rising overall into March 8th, which would then put March 8th in a position of becoming a swing top. And it may become an important swing top. With the way this market has been behaving, it would not surprise me if we got a good move down from March 8th or ninth, whatever, that time period that we could be looking at topping. So you don't you don't want to go and rush in and buy this market, you know, going long and whatever, unless you have some reason why, like, you know, your own analysis, because of March 8th, you go, well, if there's a top in March 8th, I might as well buy all the way to March 8th. That might work. I don't know. But what if, of course, you know, if it did the complete opposite, what if March 8th turned out to be a bottom? Then everything shot up from a March 8th. Well, I don't think so because of, you know, like what I said on the beginning of the video that the S&P is the bullish side of this makes no sense to me. It's an irrational market. The There's a lot of funny money going on here. Okay. It, it's 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 like it's setting up it's setting up the bullish you know the buyers to get their legs cut off from underneath it that's just what it feels like to me all right but you know i mean yeah the overall market's you know moving up and it's crossed above the 200 you know day moving average you know it's done all these things and and we've got you know uh, higher bottom and, and higher top and and higher bottom, you know, and it could go could go up here, right? It could, it could, and all this 
doomsday stuff, you know, it's all for nothing. I, I know there was a video uh, Larry Williams put out, uh, you know, where he talked about the October bottom in the stock market was the bottom and we should be up, up, up and away based on, you know, his work. And, you know, I totally, totally respect Larry Williams' work. I, I agree with a lot of it because he's, he's into cycles, I'm into cycles and so forth. I'm not convinced the, um, October bottom, but it, it's quite possible because we have moved up quite a bit from there. And so, so far it has been up, up and away. So, you know, you might say that, that no matter what happens at this point, you know, he was right about that. It, it did go up. Uh, but the thing is, is that the October bottom is not to be taken out. That's what I got from the video overall was that it was going to hold. It was the bottom. I'm of the camp that the bottom would not happen in 2022, that it would more likely happen in 2023 if I had to pick between those two years. It would more likely happen this year. And hopefully it doesn't go out until the next year rather than it happening in 2022. But hey, that's a real long term outlook. I don't really care so much about that. I deal with the here and now. I deal with the short term moves. Uh, I'm a swing trader uh, and, and I do dabble in day trading too as well because, you know, if I see something at your day, I'm like, well, okay, I want to put a trade on. But overall, I, I, I like to. Uh, swing trade. I, I tend to swing trade using uh, stock options. I love trading stock options. I love trading the SPY. I love trading the Qs. That's my thing. Um, have done really, really, really well. I'm not going to show you my numbers up there. I don't. I never like to share my personal numbers. You know, they, then it makes then it makes me have to always. Uh, repeat and repeat and re rinse and and makes me um, makes me make too many mistakes if for example I make if I make a bad trade then all of a sudden I feel the need that I need to make something grand home run or something to recover and I don't like that so I learned a long time ago I ain't sharing I ain't sharing my numbers but I can give you a percentage okay and my percentages I'll go now I have a whiteboard. That's what I'm looking at over here. And and I also have a, um, what do you call it, uh, spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet that calculates this, but on the marker, that keeps me motivated. I like this. It's like keeping score, right? And if we only go back to uh, the beginning of the year, or uh, I got it here December 16th, and I got it updated until March 1st. So I don't have March 2nd, just March 1st. But I skipped. I got 223, 24, 27, 28, whatever. The, the, the whiteboard is only so big that I have to erase it and then move the totals up, whatever. But uh, percentage-wise, it is, if you, if you annualized it, if you annualized it for a whole year, uh, it, it's about 300%. It's 280 some percent or something like that. Last I checked on that. Um, not bad appreciation. It certainly beats getting 5% in treasuries. But anyway, with that said, um, that's from stock option trading in the SPIs and the Qs mostly. March 8th. I'm expecting it to rise into March 8th and at March 8th if it does rise let's say like it did over here if this was 3-2 and move up to around March 8th I am going to be looking getting back in some spy puts and you see it moving up into 3-8 okay then it means that it's playing out as expected look for resistance Look for overbought indications using whatever indicators you like to use. I'm going to cut this short because the market's trading and I'm not paying attention to it right now because I'm talking to you. So, uh, wow. 
That's moved up pretty good today. Uh, currently, we're now at 40.29. Okay, 40.29, and we're banging up against moving average here. Uh, anyway, so I will see you in the next video. Uh, make sure that you note Note this information down and don't forget about it if you're interested in the stock market, the S&P 500. And again, I hope you don't forget that even though I'm expecting 3.8 top, if prices move down to 3.8, then just kind of flip your mind upside down looking for a bottom. But I, I really don't think that that's likely. I really think that 3.8 it's more likely we'll go up in the 3.8 because there's just way more indication of that probability. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified in advance because I usually give information in advance. And some of you are going to end up watching this video, you know, that has 3.8 has already come and gone. While you have the benefit of going back on your chart and going, did that work or not work or whatever, unfortunately, you don't get to take advantage of it, you know. But remember, this is just information only, paper trading, all that other stuff, because I'm not supposed to advise you on what you should do. So I'm not going to tell you what you should do. i tell you what I'm going to do, okay? And I'm going to get puts if this puppy is making a top on 3.8. All right, give me a like so that the algorithm will recommend my video, and I would so appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Have a great weekend.